Hello friends, myself Dr. Veena Thakur. In the previous video, we have discussed about what are superconductors and the phenomena of superconductivity. In this video, we will discuss very interesting and important properties of superconductors. The first and the most important property of superconductor is zero electric resistance or infinite conductivity. We know that superconductor is a material that can conduct electricity without resistance or zero resistance below a certain temperature or critical temperature is known as superconductor. Critical temperature or transition temperature is that temperature at which the resistivity of the material suddenly drops to zero below which the material behave like a superconductor and above the critical temperature, the material comes in its normal state. We have already discussed that the critical temperature for mercury is 4.2 Kelvin. It is that temperature at which the mercury resistivity suddenly drops to zero. And in this region below the critical temperature, the mercury behave like a superconductor and above the critical temperature, it's meaning this region, the mercury comes in its normal state. Now let's see how the impurities affect the superconducting properties. When some amount of impurities are added to a superconducting material, the value of its critical temperature decreases. Let us consider the superconducting material at a critical temperature 4 Kelvin and we added some amount of impurities in it. When we add some amount of impurity in a superconducting material, then the superconducting material loses its superconducting property. But correspondingly to it, when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature, then the material again behave like a superconductor. Let us assume that if we add some amount of impurity in a superconducting material, then the superconducting material loses its superconducting property. And when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature, it's mean from 4 Kelvin to 3 Kelvin, the material again behave like a superconductor. If we add some more amount of impurity in a superconducting material, again the superconducting uh, material loses its superconducting property and behave like a normal material. But again, when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature, it's made from 3 Kelvin to 2 Kelvin, again the material behave like a superconductor. If we add some more amount of impurities, in a superconducting material, again, the superconducting material losses its superconducting property and behave like a normal material. If we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature, it's mean from 2 Kelvin to 1 Kelvin, the material again showing the behavior of superconducting property. But finally, when we add some more amount of impurity in a superconducting material, and we decrease the temperature of the material from 1 Kelvin to 0 Kelvin, the material does not behave like a superconductor because at this point, the resistivity of the material is not zero and the material completely vanishes its superconducting property. So when some amount of impurities are added to a superconducting material, the value of its critical temperature decreases. Now let's see what is persistent current. In this, the superconducting material is in the form of frame. And when the current flows through it below the critical temperature, then the loss in current value in form of heat is negligible. Due to extremely less resistance, there is no loss in energy conduction. Hence the current flows through the ring for a long time. Now let us see how the magnetic field affects the superconducting property. 
when a strong magnetic field is applied to a superconductor below its critical temperature the material loses its superconducting state the minimum magnetic field which is required to destroy the superconducting state is called critical magnetic field and it is represented by hc let us consider the superconducting material at a critical temperature 4 kelvin and it is placed between the two strong magnet at ordinary value of magnetic field the superconducting material does not lose its superconducting property and it behave like a superconductor but when we increase the magnetic field above the critical magnetic field the superconducting material loses its superconducting property and behave like a normal material but correspondingly to it when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature again the material behave like a superconductor let us assume that if we increase the magnetic field above the critical magnetic field then the material loses its superconducting property but when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature it's mean from 4 kelvin to 3 kelvin the material again behave like a superconductor if we add some more amount of magnetic field above the critical magnetic field then again the material loses its superconducting property and behave like a normal material and again when we decrease the temperature of the material below the critical temperature it's mean from 3 kelvin to 2 kelvin again the material behave like a superconductor if we increase some more amount of magnetic field above the critical magnetic field then again the material loses its superconducting property and behave like a normal material if we again decrease the temperature below the critical temperature it's mean from 2 kelvin to 1 kelvin the material again behave like a superconductor finally if we increase more magnetic field above the critical magnetic field and the temperature decrease from 1 kelvin to 0 kelvin at this point the material does not behave like a superconductor and its superconducting property completely vanishes because at that temperature the resistivity of the material is not zero now let's see the relation with between critical magnetic field and the critical temperature critical magnetic field is represented by hc and hc equal to h not within bracket 1 minus t upon tc whole square h not is that magnetic field at which the material completely loses its superconducting property as shown in figure the region inside the curve represents the superconducting phase or superconducting state and the region outside the curve is normal phase or normal state this graph represent the variation in critical magnetic field with temperature now this area represent the superconducting state and you know outside the curve the material behave like a normal material now let's see how the pressure and stress affect the superconducting property at ordinary pressure the material does not behave like a superconducting property but when we increasing the pressure on a certain material like cesium it it starts showing superconducting behavior the critical temperature of cesium is 1.5 kelvin when we applying a pressure of about 110 kilo bar the cesium behave like a super conductor now this graph represent the cesium at ordinary pressure and when we applying the pressure on cesium about 110 kilo bar then the cesium behave like a super conducting behavior now the next property is critical current which is represented by ic and the critical current density which is represented by jc when the current density flowing through a superconductor increases 
more than the critical current density value jc the material come to normal state and the superconducting property are disappear when the current flowing through a superconducting material increases the magnetic field generated around the superconductor also increases it is also observed that when the material field becomes more than the critical magnetic field hc the superconducting properties are disappear as we already discussed in the previous slide the current density at which the superconductor properties are disappear is called critical current density jc so in this video we have discussed some properties of superconductor in the next video we will discuss the more properties of superconductors thanks for watching thank you